Now, for the statics under the equilibrium, Okay, for the statics. Okay, this one is the study. Of study of the condition of objects usually at rest with special regard. to the forces involved. Fundamental physics is the concept of a Intuitively, intuitively, <clears throat> if worse is a push or a pull acting on some object. Okay, more precisely, Newton's Laws help us to define a force. Okay, if you still remember, we have already discussed the Newton's law. The first law of the Newton is the law of <clears throat> law of inertia, and the second law is the law of acceleration. The, the third law is the law of interaction. First law that is the Newton's law of inertia. Second is the Newton's law of acceleration. And the third law is the Newton's law of interaction. Okay, now for the Newton's law of inertia, this one states that the, the body at rest remains at rest and the body in motion remains in motion unless acted by an external force. While the second law, the Newton's uh, law of acceleration, the acceleration is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the mass. While the third law, uh, Newton's law of interaction, in every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. If we have a force A, of course, we have uh, the same magnitude but uh, opposite. Kaya we have negative FAB. <clears throat> now, uh, the Newton's second law is the basic of dynamics, but one consequence of it is that the weight force of any mass, we have the mass, okay, second law, which is the law of Newton's law of acceleration. <clears throat> 
uh, Newton's second law is the basis of dynamics, but one consequences of it is that the weight force of any mass, we have weight is equal to mass multiplied by the gravity. Remember that W is the weight, M is the mass, and G is the acceleration due to gravity. We have the constant value for the acceleration due to gravity that is 9.8 meter per second squared or 980 centimeter per second squared, or 32.17 feet per second squared. This one is under the MKS, this one is for the CGS, and this one is for the English unit. Okay, near at the surface of the Earth. Now, for the third law, sabi nga natin, you have the third law, the Newton's law of interaction. In every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Other than weight, several important forces are tension. Now, the force in a string or cable, the normal force in acting perpendicular to the surface. Example, if we have a given body lying on a floor, of course, the weight is always going downward. The normal weight is the, uh, the normal force is the force perpendicular to the surface, but lying on, on the opposite direction of the weight. Therefore, we have the normal force which is perpendicular when you say perpendicular that would be 90 degrees now the uh the normal force acting perpendicular to a surface then the force of static friction remember uh you have the static friction okay this one is your static friction from the formula of frictional force we have the coefficient of static or kinetic friction we have fs over the normal where fs is the static frictional force static frictional force and n small letter n that is the normal force and this one is the coefficient of static friction. Recording now. If we're going to use the kinetic static friction, instead of uh, mu s, we're going to use your mu k, where mu k is equal to f k, f sub k over the normal. Uh, this one would be your kinetic frictional force. Again, your small letter N is the normal force. And this one is the coefficient of kinetic coefficient of kinetic Uh, kinetic frictional kinetic friction and uh, a pi, uh, pivot or reaction force R re reacting at an angle theta with respect to the surface okay. yan, yan. you have the normal the weight and the fs now, in order to solve the static or any physics problem, first we have to write down the information in terms of numbers and symbols. Okay, and then draw a figure showing the rele uh, relevant objects and angle. Next, choose points in the system. Okay, then in static, we now apply the two conditions of equilibrium. Okay, the first one, two conditions of equilibrium. <clears throat> two conditions of equilibrium. The first one, the sum of the forces. in each in each direction is zero okay therefore the summation of forces is equal to zero 
the second condition, <clears throat> the equilibrium is said to be static if also the velocity is equal to zero. <clears throat> okay. When we say the sum of forces in each direction is zero, your summation of forces at X is equal to zero. Summation of forces at Y is equal to zero. Okay. Example. A uniform two hundred newtons board of length L has Two weights hanging from it three hundred newtons at L over three from one end and 400 newtons at three L over four from the same end. You see figure below. What single additional force acting on the board? will produce. Okay. We have a uniform board. Sample is this one. Okay. First we have uh remember two hundred newtons 200 newtons, that is the weight of the board. Of course, if that is the, the weight, the 200 newtons is lying on the center of the board. Okay, this one is your 200 newtons. Of course, the, the 200 newtons is going downward since it is, it is the weight. Okay, if this one is the length, Let me the length. Okay. Therefore, your 200 newtons, since it is in the center, the length of this one is L over 2. Let this one is your NA and this one is your NB. Then, uh, 300 newtons at L over 3 from one end. Okay. From one end. Uh, L over 3. Okay, let this one as your end. Okay, L over 3. Uh, assumption, this one is your 300 newtons. And the length is L over 3. 
Okay. Then from one end and 400 newtons at 3n over 3l over 4. This one is 3l over 4. 3l over 4. Okay. Assumption is one. Okay. 400 newtons. Let this one as your 3L over 4. <clears throat> 3L over 4. Okay, then uh, what single additional force acting on the board will produce? <clears throat> of course, to make it equilibrium, the force would be uh, going upward because we have the summation of forces at Y. Since there's no uh, forces at the X axis, we're going to use the summation of forces Y is equal to zero. Let us assume that your P is lying on this direction. It's just an assumption. That we, this one is your P. Add A. Summation of forces Y equal to zero, positive going upward. We have P minus 300 minus 200 minus 400. Equal to zero. One, two, three, four. We have four forces where P transpose the other numerical to the right. You have 300 plus 200 plus 400. Therefore, your P now is equal to 900 newtons. Okay. We have now this one as your P. We have the value of 900 newtons. Now, we are required to find for the position of your P. Where would be your P or the resultant lying on this bar? Okay, we're going to use the summation of force, say, uh, summation of moment. Uh, okay, let us see. Kung uh, dito ako magmo-moment, if we're going to moment at A, let us assume positive counterclockwise for your P. Counterclockwise. Kung papunta sa A, Counterclockwise. Ito yung direction going upward, therefore counterclockwise. Okay. Positive summation moment at A equal to zero. Let us see. Your P, let this one as your X because we don't know where your P is lying on the board. Okay. You have your, when you say moment, this one is the torque, force mul multiplied by the perpendicular distance. Therefore, sabi natin, we have the summation of torque is equal to zero for the uh, equilibrium. Then we have summation moment at A, counterclockwise, you have your P multiplied by X. Okay, this one is the distance. It's according to the formula of your torque. That is F multiplied by the perpendicular distance. Then, your 300 newtons for A clockwise. Therefore, that is minus 300 multiplied by what is the, the position of your 300 from A. That is L over 3. L over 3. Then, we have your 200 newtons, again, counterclockwise from A. Therefore, that is minus 200 times the position, the perpendicular distance, L over 2. L over 2. Then next, we have the 400 newtons, uh, uh, clockwise again. Therefore, that is minus 400 times uh, 3L over 4 for the perpendicular distance equal now to 0. Now, 
the value of your P is 900, 900 times X. We're looking for the position X minus 300 times L over 3 minus 200 times L over 2 minus 400 times 3L over 4 equal to 0. Now, if you notice you have 300 over 3, of course, that is 100. 200 over 2, of course, that is also 100. 400 divided by 4, of course, that is also 100. Now, if we're going to look for your x, we have 900 times x. Transpose this one, you have 300L. Positive, because we have negative here. If you're going to transpose it to the right side, that will become negative plus 100. Ah, 100, this one is 100, correction. <clears throat> 100L plus 100L, transpose this plus 100L. Okay, therefore we have X, 100 plus 100 plus 100, that is 300L. Over your 900, your X now is equal to 300 over 900, therefore that is 1 over. 300L. And 1 over 300L is equal to what? That is 0.56L. Correction. Correction here. This one. 100 times 3. 100 times 3 is 300. 300, 400, 500. Okay, correction for this one. Okay, 100 times 3, that is 300L. 300, 400, 500, 500 over 900. Okay, therefore, that is uh, 5 over 9. 5 over 9 is 0.56. Okay, that is 0.56L. Therefore, the value of your P is equal to 900 newtons. And your position of your P is 0.56L. Okay, therefore, the assumption that your P is lying here is also correct. Because that is 0.56, therefore that is almost half of the length. Thank you.